Our first reading is from the book of Isaiah, chapter 5 verses 1 through 7. Against the Lord's vineyard. Let me sing to my friend. The song of his love for his vineyard. My friend had a vineyard. On a fertile hillside. He dug the soil, cleared it of stones, and planted choice vines in it. In the middle he built a tower. He dug a press there too. He expected it to yield grapes. But sour grapes were all that it gave. And now, inhabitants of Jerusalem, and men of Judah, I ask you to judge, between my vineyard and me, what could I have done for my vineyard, that I have not done? I expected it to yield grapes. Why did it yield sour grapes instead? Very well, I will tell you, what I am going to do to my vineyard. I will take away its hedge for it to be grazed on, and knock down its wall for it to be trampled on. I will lay it waste, unpruned, and dug, overgrown by the briar and the thorn. I will command the clouds, to rain no rain on it. Yes, the vineyard of the Lord of hosts, is the house of Israel, and the men of Judah, that chosen plant. He expected justice, but found bloodshed, integrity, but only a cry of distress. From Psalms, chapter 79 and 80, verses 9, 12 through 16 and 19 through 20. The vineyard of the Lord, is the house of Israel. You brought a vine out of Egypt. To plant it you drove out the nations. It stretched out its branches to the sea. To the great river it stretched out its shoots. The vineyard of the Lord is the house of Israel. Then why have you broken down its walls? It is plucked by all who pass by. It is ravaged by the boar of the forest. Devoured by the beasts of the field. The vineyard of the Lord is the house of Israel. God of hosts, turn again, we implore. Look down from heaven and see. Visit this vine and protect it. The vine your right hand has planted. The vineyard of the Lord is the house of Israel. And we shall never forsake you again. Give us life that we may call upon your name. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us and we shall be saved. The vineyard of the Lord is the house of Israel. A reading from the letter to the Philippians, chapter 4 verses 6 through 9. If there is anything you need, pray for it. There is no need to worry, but if there is anything you need, pray for it, asking God for it with prayer and thanksgiving. And that peace of God, which is so much greater than we can understand, will guard your hearts and your thoughts in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers, fill your minds with everything that is true, everything that is noble, everything that is good and pure, everything that we love and honor, and everything that can be thought virtuous or worthy of praise. Keep doing all the things that you learned from me and have been taught by me and have heard or seen that I do. Then the God of peace will be with you. Alleluia, Alleluia. I call you friends, says the Lord, because I have made known to you everything I have learned from my Father. Alleluia, reading from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 21, verses 33 through 43. Jesus said to the chief priests and the elders of the people, listen to another parable. There was a man, a landowner, who planted a vineyard, he fenced it round, dug a winnipress in it and built a tower, then he leased it to tenants and went abroad. When vintage time drew near he sent his servants to the tenants to collect his produce. But the tenants seized his servants, thrashed one, killed another and stoned a third. Next he sent some more servants, this time a larger number, and they dealt with them in the same way. Finally he sent his son to them. They will respect my son, he said. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to each other, This is the heir. Come on. Let us kill him and take over his inheritance. So they seized him and threw him out of the vineyard and killed him. Now when the owner of the vineyard comes, what will he do to those tenants? They answered, He will bring those wretches to a wretched end. And lease the vineyard to other tenants who will deliver the produce to him when the season arrives. Jesus said to them, Have you never read in the scriptures? It was the stone rejected by the builders that became the keystone. This was the Lord's doing. And it is wonderful to see. I tell you, then, that the kingdom of God will be taken from you and given to a people who will produce its fruit. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. If you haven't already, supporting our channel is as easy as subscribing to our channel and hit the bell icon so you can be the first to know when we release new videos. If you like our content, please consider sharing it with your friends. Until then, 
Stay blessed and spread the word in your actions.